hi. Today, we're talking about lips. Uh, I wanted to show you three of my like go-to lips just cause I feel like I don't focus on them that often. And I feel like people have been asking me a lot recently. Well, let's do it. So the first one, super simple. Uh, I'm gonna start off by lining them with the lip liner that I literally just had and now I can't find. It was funny and now, oh, here it is. Editing all of this out, editing all of it out. All right, so I'm gonna start off by lining and overlining my lips. I like to use the uh, Topist, the lip liner in the shade Topist. This is by Lime Crime. I like to overline my lips. I'm having a hard time not doing it. Listen, if you don't want to, then fucking don't do it. All right, this is that easy. <sighs> okay, so all I do is basically like go to the outer part. Cause like you can see this is where my lips turn down a little bit, you know, if they go like boop. So I bring them up here and then I, I basically just follow like the very outer um, perimeter, like just outside the line for the rest of the lip. But this is where they get like smaller. So I like to just kind of thicken up that area and also kind of like give it a little bit more of a, you know, doesn't have to be super precise. All right, so I focus it on the outer part. I basically just like line it and then, you know, like you can blend a little bit if you feel like you need to. I don't really feel like I need to. Now, I'm just gonna go in with the gloss and that's it. The one that I've been loving recently is the Diamond Lip Gloss by Lorac. I almost said Lancome. Lorac and it is uh, in the shade Out of the Office. And it's just this really pretty like peach, you know? It's like a peach shade with like gold reflect in it, but it's not like glittery, you know? Anyway. Mmm, okay. Smells like vanilla. Lip gloss is like the one makeup product that I'm like, it has to have a scent. If it doesn't have a scent, I get upset. Okay, so this is the first lip. This is my go-to if I'm gonna do like a very dramatic eye. I'll even tone it down a little bit more than this. Like I probably won't overline as much, you know, just so it's very, very natural looking. Cause it just kind of like looks like my lips, but like juicy you know? So it gives them a little bit of de definition. Obviously they stand out, but they look natural. Like imagine this with like a dark smoky eye, you know? Since we already sort of have our like overlining line, I'm just gonna follow that again. And the second one is just like a nude lip. But my favorite thing about this is I go in with a much darker lip liner. Not like much darker, but like still darker. And I feel like this has been working for me really well recently. The lip liner that I'm gonna use is by Elsie. Uh, and it is in the shade Blush. So this is another nude lip liner. And I'm just gonna follow that shape. So this is probably like a little bit more rose, a little bit darker than my uh, lip color. Very creamy. Now the key with this is after you go in in line to feather it inward. So you're kind of doing your contouring. So I like to just kind of like place the line the uh, lip liner a little bit flatter and just blend because they're gonna go over that line with the liquid lipstick that we're gonna use the lipstick that i'm gonna use is in the shade revive this is by ofra ofra has my favorite liquid lipsticks they're like super lightweight but they apply like a really nice coverage so they don't break up or anything but they're they're lightweight on the on the lips so you don't feel like you're wearing anything super heavy it's like groundbreaking liquid lipstick. I think this is a new shade. I'm gonna focus this in the center of each of my lips, and then I'm gonna blend them out with my finger. So focusing it in the center and then slowly blending. All right, so that's one of my favorite like nude lip combos. Uh, I think the trick if you are going in with a much darker lip liner, like if you're trying to do contouring, is to make sure that you're blending it inward. And then when you go in with your lipstick, you're not just like totally going over it you're blending into that lip liner so that you're not like getting rid of that color, but you're mixing them. I don't know if that makes any sense. Actually, just because I feel like this is a little bit like cool toned and chalky for just like my skin right now, I also love going in with a gloss over this. So I'm actually gonna go in with a Pro Kisser. Is this the shade Pro Kisser or is this the lip gloss name? Pro Kisser I think is the shade. Uh, Latte Lips might be the shade. I'm not entirely sure. This is Fenty. It's just like a really pretty Color. And what's nice about this is it's a little warmer. So it kind of like adds a little bit more life to my lips and it's a lip balm. So it's nice and hydrating. 
but applying it over liquid lipstick makes this lip literally last all day long. That's like my favorite lip combo for going out, like a night out, you know? If I want glossy lips. All right, my last lip, red. The cat's eating. You can probably hear that. I'm not worried about it. Uh, so again, the trick, in my opinion, for a red lip, particularly if you like to overline your lips, is to go in with a really, really, really dark lip liner. The one I'm gonna use is Vino by MAC. Again, overlining. I just started doing it without even telling you. So it's the same deal. You wanna make sure that you're like filling in with that lip liner. I don't know why, but for uh, red lips, I always feel like I have to overline my lips even more. I think it's because the dark color kind of makes them look even smaller. I don't know. <laughs> Basically like covered my entire top lip. And then I'm going to go in with Ofra Atlantic City. Love this. Once again, Ofra. I just love their liquid lipsticks. So I'm gonna place it right in the center of each of my lips. And this time I'm actually gonna use the applicator to blend. And then as I go around the lip liner, I'm just using a very light hand. And that's how I create a dark ass vampy lip. Baller. This is probably the shoddiest lip application I've ever done because my mirror has to be so far away from me, but you get the idea. Come on. So yeah, that's it. Three of my go-to lips. Love them. I kind of like switch up the nudes depending on, I don't know, sometimes I like grayish, sometimes I like something like chalky. Sometimes I like peach and like a little more health. I don't know. But this one, I mean, can you go wrong with this red lip? No, the answer is no. But that's it. Those are my lips. Someday I will learn to like not overlining them. All right, I'm gonna go. Great talk.